I just wanted to address a question, well, a lot of questions, but about the same thing on yesterday's Tomato Tuesday video. And that was the subject of withholding water from tomatoes four days before harvest to help them concentrate their sugars and their flavor uh, in the fruit. You don't have to do it all the time. I had a lot of tomatoes that were, you know, right about ready to ripe. I picked several yesterday after the video was over. And so in that situation, you know, four days of withholding water, unless you are in severe heat and dry weather, four days is not really going to do much damage. Um, now, if you are in hotter weather, you always can use the finger test and just make sure that it's not bone dry. I think the most important part is introducing the water back. And so when you do that, you don't want to just soak them. You want to slowly start it again, but you don't want them to expand really quickly and crack. Um, another thing, question was about blossom end rot, because I've always said inconsistent watering uh, is a cause of blossom end rot. And that is true, but not from four days off. Now, if you did four days off and on all the time, you'd have a lot of problems. I'm not talking about this as a practice all the time. The only way this could be a practice uh, ongoing is if you have like determinate plants, like aroma or something else, where all the fruit pretty much ripens at once. And then that's a good thing. Four days before, stop watering it and harvest everything and you've got the sweetest fruit possible. But if you've got indeterminate plants, you've got tomatoes at all stages. And so of course this is not something you're going to do all the time. But if you really want to have the sweetest tomatoes, every once in a while, taking four days off of watering is not going to severely hurt your tomatoes in any way.